नमस्कार दिस इज फर्स्ट पोस्ट इन वॉचिंग वेंटेज विद मी पलकी शर्मा One hundred billion—that's the kind of money U.S. banks lost last week. The market value fell dramatically. The reason was this: two banks failed in a matter of 48 hours. There was a bank run. Depositors made a beeline for their money. And this is not a developing economy I'm talking about. This is happening in the United States of America. A crisis is spreading through American banks. The government says the depositors will get their money back but the global markets are feeling the jitters. Is this a repeat of the 2008 financial crisis? We'll bring you an assessment. Also on the show the BBC's hypocrisy has been exposed yet again. The British broadcaster faced a boycott this weekend over the suspension of a prominent presenter. We'll tell you what happened. There's a lot of news in West Asia. The Saudi Iran rapprochement brokered by China what does it mean for China in the region and what does it mean for the US and analysis is coming up also india is celebrating its oscar win first the headlines chinese president xi jinping vows to make the military a great wall of steel he said this during the first speech of his precedent breaking third presidential term at the annual meeting of china's parliament The Myanmar army has killed more than 25 people at a monastery in the southern Shan state that's a claim made by an insurgent group Myanmar has seen a spike in deadly battles between the military and armed resistance groups since the junta seized power in a coup Pakistan has revealed details of foreign gifts retained by public office holders this is part of the Tosha Khana scandal the list implicates multiple figures including Imran Khan Nawaz Sharif Asif Ali Zardari and Parvez Musharraf they all acquired gifts free of cost and spent millions on gifts to foreign delegates Nepal bans solo trekkers throughout the country 5 years after they banned solo climbers from trying to scale the Mount Everest. This is to save on the search and rescue costs incurred when solo trekkers go missing. And India win their fourth series in a row against Australia. Virat Kohli's 186 helps India draw the fourth and final test in Ahmedabad. India win the series 2-1. 